Oh, looks like the hatching has begun. We gotta make a video on that soon. Welcome, Welcome back, back Cell, Cell Squad. Squad. <laughs> uh, today we have a very, very, very cute video for you. We got eggs hatching here at the uh, at the headquarters. You got some black stuff on your lips. <laughs> oh no, the sharpie! Um, yeah. First, the sharpie. So this is the first uh, clutch hatching for us this season. Uh, these are the ornate diamond back terrapins. And uh, we're always very thankful. Uh, we understand what a large responsibility it is um, to take on uh, hatchlings. And we also um, all know how, how blessed we are. And, and we, we thank uh, you know, the big man up above for trusting uh, such precious cargo with us. So for, without further ado, let's get into it. Here we go. <gasps> there it is. Oh my god, it looks so good at it and that one look yeah so this one didn't make it that's kind of what they look like i'm so excited because let's get that one out of here actually and look we got someone trying to give us a high five right here <laughs> high five <laughs> um i don't want to bother them too much um but you can see this this gal got an early He's... start uh, let's see how this one's doing this one has not started yet and I think I see a crack on this one here. Yeah. So, yeah, but do you um, think this one's upside down? Because what's wrong with his arm? I know. <laughs> well, which brings up a good point, Sophie. Uh, so a couple days ago, they were having sweat beads on them. Um, I will show you that in another video. But uh, for now, uh, this one, you can see kind of the sweat beads. Um... I don't know if you can see it right near my index finger right there. There's still some left. I'll try to zoom up on it for you. So we know that one's going to hatch soon. Uh, let's see, just looking at it, I don't think it started hatching just yet. This one, let's set this guy up correctly. Oh, that one's actually looking good. Uh, wow, look at how, how amazingly beautiful these guys look. It's just a little sneak right in there. Again, this is one of the ornate diamondback terrapin hatchlings we are very thankful to have. Let's do a little check-in on this girl. Oh, wow. You know, I always like to see if I can, you know, make sure the do whatever health checks I can initially. So far, everything looks pretty normal. Um, I always like to see that the shell's in good shape. Um, typically, uh, higher temperatures when you go for females, uh, you'll get extra scutes. Um, I'll show you that too in a future video. I don't know if you can see this here, but there's like a little bit of ooze down there. There it is. See that ooze? Yeah. Um, I know. That's that's always normal as well. Uh, but we are super happy, and um, I'm gonna get these guys back because I don't want to bother them too much. But usually they still have some yolk under. Uh, the, on the plastron and we want to give them time to absorb that because the larger it is the more risk that uh, it can get ruptured so all right so let me kind of show you um, if we flip this one over you can see there's still an egg yolk there um, so that's kind of what we are trying to avoid right there um, we, we don't want to bother her too much while she still has that right there okay so I'm going to just set her back. Uh, you know, they do develop if they're sideways as well. Um, for some, But when they come out, you'll see the egg yolk is just squished to one side of the egg. Um, but her face, if you look in there, her face is so tiny and adorable. She's like the pinkage, still smaller. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a shot of that. Don't bother her too much. Mm-hmm. Got to be very gentle at this stage. The eggshell, the, the shells are like really soft. So there she is. First peek at the first girl. Welcome to the family. Okay. Um, I'm going to let her be now. Uh, definitely don't want to squish that yolk sac because that part where it's connected is still wide open. If you push on the yolk, you'll see it pushes on pushes her head and arms out and stuff. It's pushes against all her organs and stuff like that. Not healthy at all. So that's the egg that's bad. 
can tell it looks bad. Um, Sophie cleaned it up, but and that one was the one we were suspicious of to begin with, uh, anyways. So I don't want these guys to dry out too much, so I'm gonna get them back in the incubator here. See you on the update show squad. Bye!